literally lived across the street inside of this apartment complex. And when they went in to arrest him, well, they made a gruesome discovery. They discovered a deceased female on the floor in an advanced stage of decomposition. He also told detectives that he was in a relationship with a female who was pregnant, the female who was found inside of the apartment. This is the story of Denise Middleton, aged 26, a 38 weeks pregnant lady who was fatally shot seven times by her boyfriend, Tori Damian Moore, aged 31. Weeks later, Tori shot someone else in a convenience store which made police issue a search warrant for his apartment where they discovered Denise's decaying body that had been laying in the bedroom for over a month. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. The man accused of shooting and killing a Montgomery County gas station employee last week is facing new charges after investigators found the body of a pregnant woman inside his apartment. This story will be taking us to the city of Silver Spring, Maryland. Silver Spring, Maryland is a northern residential suburb of Washington, D.C. It is a city well known for its proximity to Washington, D.C. It is one of the most diverse communities in Montgomery County. It is a destination for retail, dining, and arts and entertainment. Denise Middleton was a 26-year-old lady who was from Brooklyn, New York but lives in Silver Spring, Maryland according to her Facebook page. Denise was described as a funny, witty, and loving person. She was said to love fashion, hair, and makeup. She was described as a really great person who is always complimenting someone and giving out love. Denise was in a relationship with a man named Tori Damian Moore. Tori was someone who had multiple felonies but out of how kind and loving she was, she decided to give Tori a chance, which would eventually be the worst thing she ever did. Denise found out she was pregnant by Tori and she was so happy. She was looking forward and so excited to becoming a mom. She had a name ready for the baby which was Ezekiel. Denise was 38 weeks pregnant when disaster struck. On this fateful day, Denise and Tori were home when they got into a heated argument, Tori being the violent person he has always been, could not handle the heat by stepping away or remain silent, he decided to do the unthinkable. He got his gun and shot Denise multiple times, at least seven times. Typically, when people commit crimes like this, they call the cops or bury the body or hide the body somewhere in the bushes. Tori did none of these, he decided to live with her body until it was accidentally discovered by the cops. One month passed by without anyone looking for Denise thinking she was safe with Tori. After almost two months living with the body of Denise, Tori went down the street to a nearby convenience store to buy some things. He got into a confrontation over an iced tea with the store clerk, later identified as 61-year-old Ayala Wundamu. The incident escalated and Tori pulled a handgun from his vest and shot Wundamu multiple times before leaving the scene. This is what police say they know for sure. Sometime around 3 Thursday afternoon at this gas station on this busy stretch of New Hampshire Avenue near Columbia Pike, someone got into a fight with the clerk working the register and shot him. Police say the clerk was hit in the chest and killed. Fred Souls runs a nearby business and says he knows many of the employees at this gas station. They're young kids. Uh, they, they just, you know, they work hard. They came here to do a living. And this suddenly happened. It's very sad and shocking. What police say they don't yet know is who fired the gun, what started the fight, or how the suspect got away. Right now, the detectives are looking at the uh, surveillance footage and you know, trying to gather any witnesses or any information that would indicate how the suspect left the scene. After some investigations, it was discovered that Tori was behind the shooting death of the 61-year-old store clerk Ayala Wundamu. A no-knock search warrant was issued for his enclave apartment. Upon breaking into his apartment, the cops were shocked to discover the dead body of a lady in an advanced decaying state. It had been laying on the floor for almost two months. On December 8th, which was yesterday, at 3.03 uh, p.m., the Montgomery County Police Emergency Communications Center received a call for a shooting that had just occurred at the Shell gas station, also the, known as the Dash In Convenience Store, located at 11150 New Hampshire Avenue in Silver Spring, Maryland. Upon arrival, officers located Ayulu Wandamu, an employee, behind the cash register 
counter suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the chest. Wanda Moo was pronounced deceased on scene by Montgomery County Fire Rescue personnel. Detectives from our Major Crimes Division responded and conducted the investigation. The investigation determined that Wanda Moo, our victim, 61 years of age, was working behind the cash register counter when the suspect, later identified as Tori Damien Moore, entered the Dash Inn convenience store at 2.58 p.m. Moore selected a bottle of iced tea from the beverage cooler and approached the counter. We have video where we observed Moore approach the counter, take it to the, the clerk, Wanda Moo, and at which point in time we could tell that a verbal altercation was occurring. We then observed Moore pick up items from in front of the counter and began throwing them at the clerk. At this time, Wanda Moo picked up a metal pole which was behind the counter and attempted to strike Moore who was on the other side of the counter. Moore stepped back and for reasons unknown, he retrieved a silver handgun from his vest pocket and he shot Wanda Moon at a point blank range. He then reached over, Wanda Moon fell, at which point Moore again senselessly reached over the counter and fired multiple shots into Wanda Moo. Moore grabbed the bottle of iced tea and he exited the store. Moore was observed leaving the store and headed in the direction of the Enclave Apartments, which is across the street. Our major crimes detectives did excellent follow-up uh, police work and they were able to quickly identify Moore as our suspect with positive identifications from several witnesses. Detectives from major crimes applied for and obtained an arrest warrant charging Tory Moore, 31 years old, with first degree murder and use of a firearm during the commission of a violent crime. Early this morning, Members of the Montgomery County Police SWAT team executed a search warrant at Moore's residence in the Enclave Apartments, which is located in the 11200 block of New Hampshire Avenue. Moore was taken into custody without incident. Items of evidence to include a 9mm handgun were located and seized by detectives. When SWAT made entry and after arresting Moore, they discovered a deceased female, believed to be an adult, on the floor in the apartment in an advanced stage of decomposition. I don't like to think that happened in my building where I live. Now at 11, an alarming discovery has families feeling uneasy in the Silver Spring community. Police finding a woman's decomposed body in an apartment and investigators think she may have been pregnant. That body was discovered in the same apartment where police arrested this man for yesterday's murder at a gas station. Tonight, detectives have another possible mystery on their hands. 7 News Kim Jackson has the latest developments. The gas station where all of this happened remains closed tonight, but right across the street at this apartment complex is where police found the suspect and made that gruesome discovery, leaving residents there in shock. That's why I pumped my gas, and I just can't believe what happened. Neighbors didn't recognize 31-year-old Tori Moore from the Enclave Apartments, and they could not believe that he's accused of killing the store clerk, 61-year-old Ayalu Wandamu, across the street. I feel unsafe. I I don't even know if I should live here and I just signed a two years lease. It's unsafe and I have a kid. She feels unsafe because of what police say they found inside Moore's apartment, a woman's body 
badly decomposed. Police say Moore admitted the two had a fight a month ago that led to her death. No one we spoke to noticed anything strange or an odor until police removed the woman's body. Tori was immediately arrested and placed in handcuffs. At the time of his arrest, Tori told investigators that he was in a relationship with Denise and that the two got into an argument that led to her death. Police said no one reported a smell or heard the gunshots which family of Denise did not believe. Some discovery at a Montgomery County apartment building. Investigators say there were no complaints from neighbors despite a pregnant woman's decomposing body in a unit at the Enclave Apartments. But tonight, other tenants at the White Oak Complex told us that's simply not true. I've been putting requests into everyone really has, but no one has done anything about them. Says she's one of the people who live at the Enclave who complained, but has an idea of why there are no reports. She showed me screenshots of the resident portal, which said they were launching a new software system. I think that is crazy because our portal to make requests has been down for two months. So even if there were requests, they could have just gone unnoticed or have not been documented. Both tenants also shared management at the Enclave still have yet to notify them that a body was found where they live. But I did give a call on Monday just to ask if they were going to like put out a statement or anything. Um, they told me to contact the local police department and they weren't going to put anything out about it. Office of the Chief Medical Examiner confirmed that Denise was approximately 38 weeks pregnant at the time of her death and that the fetus, a boy, would have lived had Denise delivered at that time. The autopsy also revealed that Denise had been shot multiple times, nothing less than seven shots. Tory was eventually charged with all three murders. He was charged with first-degree murder for Denise Middleton, first-degree murder for the death of a viable fetus, and a crime of violence against a pregnant person. He is currently being held without bond for the murder of the store clerk Ayala Wundamu. It's been a month since Denise Middleton's body was found here at the Enclave Apartments, and her family just cannot believe that this is how her story ended. Her family just wants people to know that Dee Dee, which is what they called her, was so loved and couldn't wait to be a mom. When we heard how badly decomposed her body was, it was just unbelievable to believe that we had been living our lives for that long and not knowing that she was dead. 26 year old Denise Middleton was nearly nine months pregnant when her decomposing body was found at this apartment complex in White Oak, Maryland. Tempress Middleton says she grew up in the same household as Denise and they were more like sisters than cousins and couldn't wait to be boy moms together. Denise planned to name her baby Ezekiel. I was taken aback by it because she was just preparing for her baby to be born. And at the time, um, the last time we spoke to her, she was in New York. Trying to run away from her boyfriend, father of her son, and suspected killer Tori Moore. Moore was already wanted for an aggravated assault charge on Denise from Norfolk, Virginia. Myself as being a victim of domestic violence myself, sometimes you could, you could, sometimes you isolate yourself from the people who love you most and you don't give the full story for people to help you. When police found Denise's body, they say it was in advanced stages of decomposition. She was shot seven times. Temper says her family just can't believe that no one reported the smell or heard the gunshots. By them not having a way for people to report and them not following up on reports have just put us in a situation where we couldn't even have a visual of her body for our, our, for our funeral. She had to be cremated, so that's just robbing us of even giving her a proper goodbye. Tori is scheduled to appear in court sometime soon. We hope Denise Middleton gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Denise Middleton. May Denise's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe and see you guys in the next video.